What's going on Harry Potter fans? My name is Dawson Red and I'm a proud Gryffindor and welcome back to Fantastic Reddens and Where to Find Them. I hope you're all doing well. Today we're going to be taking a look at a set of book covers from Nerdy Inc. You may have seen these before, but I've only seen pictures of them, never had them in person. I'm super excited about adding them to my collection. So without further ado, let's jump into today's video, Accio Intro. So once again, if you're new here, my name is Dawson and we talk all things Harry Potter and Fantastic Beasts related content here on the channel. So if you're not subscribed, consider subscribing and if you are subscribed, hit that notification bell that way you're notified of any future videos that I post here on the channel. Like I said, today we're going to be taking a look at the Nerdy Ink Dust Jackets. You may be familiar with these, but if not, you're in for a treat. I've only ever seen photos of these. I've never seen them in person. I've had them sitting over here for a very long time, but haven't had any books to put them on. I went out on eBay and I did some research trying to find a set of books used that I could put them on because I didn't really care about the actual condition of the book as long as it was pretty decent. And they didn't even have to have covers on them because once again, we were gonna be replacing those American edition covers with these nerdy ink covers. So I found a listing that claimed that they were all seven American edition books. Some of them said that they did not have dust jackets for. I believe it was only supposed to be two, but once I received the books, it was far from anything that the description said. If you don't follow us over on Instagram, you may not have seen these books. So I'm gonna show you these really fast. Uh, that way you can get an idea of what I ended up getting when I thought that I was getting something totally different. So Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone wasn't in bad shape whatsoever and this was gonna work perfect. And this was one of the first ones I seen inside the box that they were shipped in, which by the way, um, when they were shipped, they were just thrown into a gigantic box, way bigger than what the books were themselves. And so when I got them, they were just flipping around all inside this box. There was no stuffing, no packaging, nothing. So if you're gonna sell um, a set of books to someone, please be mindful when you ship those things that that person is expecting to receive them in the way that you showed them uh, in your images, which by the way, the images that this person used didn't even uh, use their own images, which is why um, I had a big problem with this. I actually uh, requested a refund and he refunded me my money and then didn't even asked for me to send them back because I think he knew that he was uh, trying to get one over on me. But uh, this one wasn't terrible and this was going to work just fine. Then we had uh, Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets. Once again, uh, not in the best condition, but that's okay because as long as it was decent enough to throw the cover on, that's all I really cared about. I just wanted them for the covers themselves. Then we get to um, Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban, which as you can see, these have blackboards and they do not match the American edition at all, um, including size. So these won't even work for the covers. So this right here was not in the description. They were all supposed to be this. The picture that I was shown were all of them looking like this in the American edition. Now these are American prints, but they are not the same as these American prints. This is a smaller version of them with completely black boards. Then we had Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire. Once again, it was in the black boards. And also, these books were just absolutely filthy. But once again, I could have cleaned them up. That wasn't a really big deal. Just the fact that um, they weren't what they were described to be. Then we get to Harry Potter and the Order of the Phoenix. And this is where the whole packaging thing comes into play. Um, when I received them, it had been raining. Once again, there was no stuffing, no nothing. None of the books were wrapped. And when I got this book, it had complete and utter water damage. As you can see on the sleeve here, it's just completely ruined, which once again, not a big deal because I'm getting rid of it anyways, but it did damage to the book itself and it's all warped and it just wasn't going to work. And then we also had Harry Potter and the Deathly Hollows. And once again, this one, probably the best one out of all of them. Um, this one's in really, really good shape. So 
I have all these books and I don't really know what I'm gonna do with them just yet. Um, I don't know. You guys let me know down below what I should do with these books. Uh, I may end up, you know, giving them away or something eventually or donating them since I received them and don't really need them. So since I got kind of burned and scammed on eBay once, I was really reluctant to do something like that again. So I did something that I wouldn't particularly suggest you go do unless it fits into your budget. I went to Books A Million and I purchased all the books in hardback, brand new, <laughs> just for these covers alone. I know, what's wrong with me? But we're gonna pull these out and we're gonna dive into these nerdy ink book covers because I'm so excited. So here we have all seven Harry Potter books in hardback edition, once again, purchased at Books A Million. Um, you definitely can find these used. Check Facebook Marketplace, check eBay, just check around. You can even find some at Goodwill stores and everywhere else. Um, but I just was kind of, once again, reluctant to go and try on eBay once more. So we were at Books A Million and I thought, you know what, uh, let me just go ahead and get them new. And so I don't suggest that you go out and do this unless it fits into your budget. And if it wouldn't have fit into my budget, honestly, I probably wouldn't have done this either. Um, but it did, and so I just went ahead and did it so I didn't have to worry about going through all of that again. So what I'm gonna do is, is take these and set them over kind of here to the side. And then what we're gonna do is open up this box that I've been setting on for quite some time and check out these covers and put them on each one of these books and see what they look like. So here we go, brand new book covers in my collection. Super excited. These are high quality, I can already tell super super nice wow okay we're gonna do this one at a time I'm gonna show you the American edition book we're gonna take off the dust jacket and then we're gonna replace it with the nerdy ink dust jacket and then take a look at the book now keep in mind that these nerdy ink dust jackets only work on these American edition books once again they're not gonna work on anything else which is why those black boarded books that you seen a minute ago they will not fit, they're not the correct size. So you have to have the American edition books for these to work. So up first we have Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone. Now you all probably know what each and every one of these books look like, but if you don't, here is the front, here's the spine, and then here is the back of that book. We're gonna take this dust jacket off. Now I'm gonna keep every one of these dust jackets and make sure that nothing happens to them. I do wanna keep them. Once again, these books are brand new. And so if for some reason I ever want to sell them uh, without the Nerdy Ink dust jackets down the line, I'll at least have these original dust jackets in brand new condition. Now what I love about these Nerdy Ink dust jackets is they already have pre-made creases in them to make this so much easier. I'm gonna give you guys a look at this particular one here. Absolutely beautiful artwork. Now each one of these on the inside are the exact same and it's just a collage of different things from the Harry Potter universe. You have Liquid Luck, you've got a Stag Time Turner, an Owl, some Mandrakes, Dobby, um, everything related to Harry Potter that you can think of really is on here and represented on the inside of these and each one of these is the exact same so take a good look at it this is what you're gonna see on all of the inner dust jackets so you're gonna take your dust jacket you're gonna lay it face down with those inner pictures facing you and what you're gonna do is you're gonna find this crease I don't know if you can tell on video but there is a crease here that is pre-made and you're gonna be looking for that, because that's what you wanna use as a guide. So lay your book down and find that crease, because that is where it is going to go around the book. While you're looking for that crease, you also wanna make sure that your spine is lining up, so be careful and take your time while doing this. You're gonna fold that dust jacket along that crease over the book, and then bring it down. Now you're gonna to wanna to do the exact same thing to the other side. So what I like to do is spin it this way, it's just easier for me, and then to bring it up and come over, find that crease, and then bring it down. Now once you've got it, make sure everything looks good, make sure your spine lines up properly, and then you can give it a nice push and make sure that you've got that on there nice and snug. And just like that, you are done. So let's take a look at Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone. 
So on here we have Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone. We have a picture of Harry there with his wand. It says JK Rowling. We have the Sorcerer's Stone itself looking really beautiful. We have a Hogwarts acceptance letter. These are just such nice covers. They did a really good job with these. They're really colorful. Um, and I love just kind of the artwork on each one of these characters. They did such a good job. So on the spine you can see it says one, then Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone with a picture of an owl. And then it says JK Rowling at the very bottom it says first year. Super pretty. And then on the back of the book itself, you have a picture of Miss McGonagall. And then it says he'll be famous, a legend. There will be books written about Harry. Every child in our world will know his name. Super beautiful. Love this book cover. So stunning. And the, once again, the quality is outstanding on these. They feel really, really, really good in the hands. And you can just tell that the material that they are printed on is done really, really well. Up next, we have Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets. Once again, this is the original book cover the spine and the back of the book cover. Just like our previous one, we're gonna take the book cover and lay it face down. We're gonna take our book and look for that spine and get it as close as we can and then make sure that we get the crease where we want it. Bend it over. We're not going to press firmly just yet. And what I like to do once again is spin the book around. It's just easier for me to do it like this. Bring the book up. Bend it over on that crease once again. Lay it down. And once we have that where we want it, it looks like it's good. It looks like the spine is where it needs to be. Then we can take and we can press down. Make sure we get that nice and firm around the book. And we're just going to keep repeating that same step on each one of these books as we go along. But let's take a look at this absolutely stunning Chamber of Secrets nerdy ink cover. We have Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets. We have a snake. We have a howler. We have Ginny Weasley with Tom Riddle's diary. And we also have a mandrake. A lot of things represented here for the Chamber of Secrets. These covers are just great. All the spines are going to look similar except for the name of the book and then of course the image that it displays. This one we have a picture of the sorting hat. And then on the back of this book we have a picture of Mr. Hagrid himself. And then this one says, it's our choices Harry that show what we truly are far more than our abilities. Absolutely beautiful. I love the fact that they add these different quotes to the back of each one of these books. It's just the extra touch that just makes it stand out. So good. Absolutely so good. Up next is arguably most people's favorite book in the series, Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban. Once again, this is the original American Dust Jacket. The front, the spine, and the back. Now here is the nerdy ink dust jacket. We have Hermione Granger with her Time Turner, Crookshanks, Sirius Black, and what looks to be the Marauders map. This is done in purple, which is one of my favorite colors, so I'm immediately drawn to this book cover. Then we have the spine, which represents Hermione's Time Turner. Then on the back we have a picture of Albus Dumbledore with probably one of his most famous lines, happiness can be found in the darkest of times if only one remembers to turn on the light. And then we even have um, Ron's rat, AKA Peter Pettigrew. Absolutely gorgeous. Love, 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 love this. Off to Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire. This is once again, the American cover. We have the front the spine, and the back of this book. Before we look at this book cover, I just want to say uh, that the placement of these has been absolutely amazing. Nothing is off. The spines line up perfectly. The fronts line up. Nothing is uh, off-centered or crooked in any kind of way. They fit perfectly and they look like they 
were meant to be on the books to begin with. They just look so, so good. So this one is, once again, Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire. And this one's done in blue. We have Ron here. We have the Triwizard Cup. Of course, we have the Goblet of Fire and the Golden Egg represented on the front cover of this book. The spine, of course, is getting a little bigger. And on this one, we have Dobby, the House Elf, or the Free Elf. And then on the back we have Mad-Eye Moody. And on the back of this one it says, If you want to know what a man's like, take a good look at how he treats his inferiors, not his equals. So beautiful. I'm just in awe of these book covers. I really am. I've been wanting these for so long. And to finally have them in my hands and be looking at them, they're just so well done, so beautiful. I can't wait to add other dust jackets to the collection because there's so many out there that you can collect but these are definitely some that you should really really think about getting for your collection if you're into collecting different style dust jackets or just different copies of the Harry Potter books whether it's different translations or different style covers uh, different editions if you're into any of that I would definitely put these covers on the top end of your collection list just because they look so good. Definitely can't go wrong with these and it's money well spent in my opinion. Up next is Harry Potter and the Order of the Phoenix, the American edition cover here. I always like this one, not the book particularly, but just the cover itself. I like the blue that it puts off. Uh, it just, I don't know, it always just drew me in. When it comes to story, it's probably one of my least favorite books out of all of them, uh, but definitely always really loved the cover. Here is the spine, and then here is the back of this book. Okay, I can already tell you, I love, 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 love this cover. I love this book cover. Uh, I just do. It's so good. Okay, so uh, Harry Potter, The Order of the Phoenix. Look at this. We have a picture of Luna Lovegood up here with a quibbler. We have a galleon and I'm guessing a prefect badge here. We have Order of the Phoenix banner here just kind of wrapped around the prophecy with the tag on it. And then we have a proclamation from Dolores Umbridge. How cool is this? And then you already know my favorite magical creature is a Thestral. And it's represented on the spine of this book. Take a look at that. How freaking cool. Love it. And then on the back we have Sirius Black. It says the mind is not a book to be opened at will and examined. The mind is a complex and many layered thing. We also have some Dolores Umbridge plates represented down there at the bottom as well with cats on them. This book cover is one of my favorites. I just absolutely love this one. Um, it may be the Thestral that does it for me. I'm not too sure, but I also love uh, Luna on here with her Quibbler. It's just a really good book cover. I really enjoy this one a lot. Two books left to go, Harry Potter and the Half-Blood Prince. This is my favorite book in the Harry Potter series. I don't know why, uh, it just is. It always has been. And I've been rereading the series right now, so I've been kind of going in with an open mind, just taking it all in and seeing if this still lands on my top tier list of favorite Harry Potter book. And uh, so far, it still is. Um, I haven't got back to this book just yet as I'm reading them, but it still is way up there on my list. And I think I'll just have to say that this is more than likely going to always be my favorite Harry Potter book in the series. So here is the front cover of the American edition, the spine, and then the back of the book here. So out of all the book covers so far, I would say that this one here, the Half-Blood Prince, has fit the uh, loosest out of all of them and it doesn't feel as tight and um, as good as the other ones have so far it feels like it could have been a little bit smaller and that these seams should have been a little further back um, 
It may just be the one that I have received here, but it definitely does not fit as good as all the other book covers or dust jackets have so far. But I absolutely am in love with this cover for many, many reasons. One, because this is my favorite book, but I love all the representations that this cover has. So on the front here, we have a picture of Draco Malfoy with his wand. We have Salazar Slytherin's locket. We have a bottle of liquid luck. And then of course we have the ring with the resurrection stone there. And then on the spine of this book, we have the potion making book. And then of course on the back, we have to have my favorite character of the series, Professor Snape with a potion bottle there. It says the dark arts are many, varied, ever-changing, and eternal, unfixed, mutating, indestructible. Absolutely love it. So good. We even have nose biting teacup <laughs> down here. Just clever. Really good stuff. I love it. It's kind of a dark book with some dark purples. Uh, I just love the color schemes. These dust jackets are just so well thought out. We've now reached the final book in the Harry Potter series, Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows. I can remember to this day standing in line at Hastings waiting for this book to release at midnight when it came out. Um, such good fond memories and it's been so long ago now but I remember it like it's yesterday. Um, my parents dropped me and my sister off and we stood in line until midnight. I don't even remember what time we got there. It was really early and we just hung out in Hastings and read books and just goofed off for hours on end um, until this came out. They had all kinds of Harry Potter games. It was a blast. But here is the front cover of the American edition. That spine, and then of course the back. And here we have it, the last and final nerdy ink dust jacket on the final book. This one's done in yellow. And take a look here. We have Neville Longbottom. We have the Hufflepuff Cup, the Sword of Gryffindor. We have the Elder Wand, Tales of Beetle and the Bard. Then we have a Ministry Identity card down here. On the spine, we have the Patronus Doe. And then on the back, we have what I believe to be Mrs. Weasley. This one says, of house sales and children's tales, love, loyalty, and innocence, Voldemort knows and understands nothing. They all have a power beyond the reach of any magic. And then we also have the Deathly Hollows necklace down here represented. Such a good set of book covers. Let's take a look at all of them set up here. All right, guys, and here you have it, all seven Nerdy Ink Harry Potter dust jacket covers on all seven books looking absolutely beautiful. Just look at how much color this just adds to your shelves. I'm telling you, if you're interested at all in dust jackets for your Harry Potter books or you're just looking to add another set to your collection, do not hesitate. Run out and grab these while you can. I will put a link down to Nerdy Ink in the comments. These have sold out before and you have to wait for a restock. That happened to me, which is why it's been so long since I've been able to get my hands on them. But once they announced that they was going to be restocking these, I immediately jumped on it and pre-ordered them and I'm so glad I did. These look absolutely phenomenal. Just take a look at them. So good. Absolutely phenomenal. They literally speak for themselves. I don't even have to say anything else go out and get yourself a set of nerdy ink book covers for your Harry Potter books. You will not, will not be disappointed. Thank you so much as always for checking out the video. I hope you enjoyed it. Remember, if you're not subscribed, get subscribed. If you are subscribed, hit that notification bell. That way you're notified of any future videos that we post here on the channel. I really hope you guys got something out of this. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Hopefully you've made a decision whether or not you want to add this to your collection. And once again, I will put links to Nerdy Ink down in the description so that you can go check them out for yourselves. They also do a ton of other book covers beyond Harry Potter as well. So if you're just into books in general and you want to see if they have a set of covers for a particular book series that you're interested in, you're going to want to check the links down in the description. You guys have been absolutely amazing. I can't even believe it, but this is actually the 50th video here on the channel, and we are almost to 450 subscribers. You guys, 
y'all mean the world to me. You really, really do. I love this community. I love Harry Potter and being able to share my love for Harry Potter with you has been absolutely amazing. And I can't wait to continue to do this and see what the rest of 2022 holds. I have a feeling it's going to be a great year to be a Harry Potter fan. And I have a feeling it's going to be a great year here on the channel. And I want you to stick around and be a part of it. So until next time, guys, I will talk to you again very soon. Knox. Doesn't quite understand me. Know what I mean?